for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com. This is Dark Cybernetics Skill Training Complete Series, Episode 3, Study Tips. Follow along with our free course documentation. In this video, we'll talk about some methods which can be used to perhaps these techniques do not work for all students and they will not perhaps work for the entire representative population of students but for some students these techniques can be used in this fashion to hopefully increase test scores we will first talk about certain types of supplies which may be needed for academic assignments and which may be a good idea to have on hand when it is time to start an academic assignment or activity during the academic year or even if it's not for school purposes other types of home projects or home body activities these having these things on hand may be useful later we'll talk about then some time management techniques which can be used to maximize the whatever limited amount of time we have and then we'll talk about taking notes notes are very important and they are crucial for remembering important information everyone who learns material they are not the same and so having some certain types of decent techniques and legible notes are handy when it is time to start an activity so first with supplies, some supplies we can have on hand are writing utensils. Writing utensils are important. We can think about the pen, blue or black ink. It is very important when signing checks or writing notes, which some people are colorblind. So keep in mind that plain blue and black or dark colors are very important when writing legible notes. Having highlighters, even if the person cannot see all the colors, the shades are important when distinguishing a definition from the other material. We can have, we can highlight the term or we can underline words to keep ourselves abreast of the information being presented on paper. The next activity we may need, we may need some type of paper. We can have wide rule, there is college rule, there is, we could even use typing paper. If we have the right type of binder or notebook, we can place these notes that we've written from class. Another type of writing, we can have colored pencils. Colored pencils are good this is even if we're not in first grade or kindergarten anymore having color pencils and crayons even perhaps on hand are handy when making charts and graphs even coloring in certain geometric shapes may be useful to have certain types of colors so we can distinguish conceptually distinguish these pieces of information from other types of information Black and white is always nice to have for record keeping, but color is nice for art, and color is nice for conveying new design themes or schema for certain types of important design features. So having writing utensils are important for writing, for creating legible notes. Well. We stress the term legible. You know, some people are not familiar with cursive and obscuring font or having obscure font may be different or difficult for others to comprehend. So it is important to have certain types of even the, the quality of a writing utensil may be important. The, this the let's just say the shelf life of a pen is important too. Even having new pens, you may use up all the pens. You may have to discard the pens, or 
maybe even having pencil sharpeners may be important at certain periods. Other tools which may be needed for an academic assignment may be certain types of activities we may need to is the modern era and there are certain types of uh, new technologies which can be used besides the pen and the paper. The pen and paper are important um, for turning in and submitting assignments. You do have computers and you can use your mobile phone but not for note taking because it's not so professional. If you could scan in your information having dry Having dry erase boards, highlighters, pens, paper, notebooks, colored markers, sticky notes, pencils, calculators are good, ring binders, colored subject dividers, Keep in mind that our audience perceives our information through the scope of the tools we provide to them. Keep in mind you may not be the best presenter, you may not be the best at many things, but when it comes to presenting information to someone, we need to make sure that the best information they receive first is the legible information. There, your document comes out first, you go out second. You know, It's better that they perceive better notes, good information from you to them before they, even, even if discrimination may be an issue, other issues are often a concern when it comes to academics, employment, job opportunities, business opportunities, social gatherings, financial establishments having again we will stress the black and blue ink are good for legal documents and establishing an audience which perceive your information your techniques your talents hopefully in a classical uniform way computers can be used during the academic semester during assignments for activities we stress the term activity because we have a list of tasks. Working on this task may take time away from that task. That's where we slide into our next category, or refer to as time management. Time management can take on many different structurings. Suppose we had all the tools we needed for our activity. Our activity being trying to increase our productivity during the year having some type of progress report, we need some type of calendar to mark and to orient our activities during the year. Um, having all the supplies in the world may not help us if we have no method and no system in place to use those tools that we've purchased and spent time collecting. Even if you got up every morning at 5 a.m. and collected material all day until 3 o'clock, if you have no time during the week or during the year, to structure those activities, they may be detrimental. They may be a negative effect on your academic performance if you spend too much time collecting. So there needs to be certain days of the week on your calendar or your uh, activity worksheet where you spend time practicing the material that you've collected. Keep in mind that writing is a good tool for certain types of students. Listening is a good skill set for certain types of students, being active, having things written a certain way, having material written in your handwriting may be useful for you, but the, your notes written in your handwriting may not be helpful to another person reading your notes because they did not write the notes or read the notes themselves. So time management is important for writing material, legible material, and it also helps you practice. So I have to turn this in later I've written the material one time at home, one time at school, one time during the 
homework session with my quote unquote teammate. And having the right teammate is important because everyone may not be focused on the assignment when it comes to work. They may have other opportunities that they think of. And maybe since you're here, we'll use your brain instead of our brain or and vice versa. You may be depending on the other teammate because he may have it under control or she may have it under control, but you won't if you've had no time to look at it. So keep in mind that working on the material, having time management skills, blocking off certain days of the week. Suppose you had six days of work. You have one day of review, one day of practice. You know, working continuously, you may not remember. You may read something, and we can say that you know practice makes perfect, but not for all things, not for running into new scenarios. You may need to see enough problem instances, and having more exposure to material, reading other sources, may help us make the material more concrete and valid to our, our argument. Suppose we have the, your teacher says something and you have the right writing utensils. We can write the material down. We can put it in our notebook. Some people may even need a clipboard or some type of um, ring binder for a daily log. Having a daily log for each activity during the week is good for certain things. What, would you put it in the daily log? Well, the daily log should have a time and a date and we should type the subject in one spot and we should have a list of expected activities. We can even plan our week with an activity list. We have a meeting at 4 o'clock. We can put it in the activity list. We have a, a assignment due on Friday. We can put that in the activity log and that is crucial for management skills. All of these systems are used to keep you organized. Being organized, you may have a disordered or dysfunctional personal life, but having things written a certain way, having your activities planned and timed, also gives you an alibi when it's time to devise other activities. We can really specialize how much time we have left during the year. If we itemize certain activities. We have study time, we have sleep time, we have work time, we have practice time, we have review time, we have trial time, we have team time. If you think about all those activities we run over, we can even put in the system meal time if we need time to take a break. Working then breaking is important. Working Keep in mind, we have to ameliorate the system for that type of person. Some people need music. They need mood music. They might need smooth jazz. They might need rock music. They may need something to keep them in the mood for learning. They may have a system. When they do math, they listen to this song. When they do uh, social science, they use, do this thing. They may eat ice cream during the academic assignments. And some people play video games, even as you're studying... Um, skills, or if you remember uh, game passwords 20 years from now. You may need to get, keep you in the mood for learning because you're around other people and you're doing things with them. You may not be as focused, and it is a good idea to stay focused by having things that keep you comfortable, which keep you focused, and which keep you alert. Um, taking Supplements may be a bad idea for certain people. Taking, uh, even if it was coffee, you know, some kind of stimulant um, would not perhaps improve your test scores if you are not accustomed to taking these types of systems and using them during the year. But we want you just to be relaxed at first. And if you stay up later beyond your time, you may need to make up for it during the week with activities. What are those activities we need? We need a time system. Suppose you have 12 hours to work. If you got up at a certain time, we are supposing that this time system 
is consistent. It's constant time. We got up at a certain time. We worked for a certain number of hours. We took meal and break times. Also, going over and timing activities during the year is important too because we can see how much time it, we can stay focused on an activity. Suppose we are studying algorithms and we need to write a proof in a certain number of minutes for a test. Reviewing the material, having a timed activity session during the week will help us improve our test scores by test time, we hope. And after we go over enough activities, we have a, a line of topics we should want to hit during the week. If, if we had Monday's activities and we finish all of Monday's activities, hopefully by Friday we would meet all the expected um, sequences before the test day, perhaps on Monday. We could have enough time to go over each system. And even if we finished early, we have time to review. And then one thing we can keep in mind is that once we study the material, we can see can we uh, replicate the information from just using our memory. We can just, we had all the tools, we had all the time, we had all the systems in place. We can see can we reproduce the material by just from our memory. And that is a good technique which we can use during the academic semester. And if it is something like a vocabulary word, if you write it a million times, it may not help us. And if we review it a million times without using the term or using the materials in an active way, if you want to know how long it was from the car ride from New York to California, we would need some type of system. We would need to be active with that. We can use generalized examples like how long you take to ride from Florida to Michigan. We can kind of take those systems, those paradigm structures, and reorient them for our learning because we can apply the same techniques for a math class that we do for an English course. And we can use the same systems for similar, in theory. And these systems do not work for all students. Research shows uh, from government sources certain things, certain things that students still have low retention rates in all of these areas. And maybe the quality of teacher may and you keep in mind, once you do turn these things in, you can also have cited information. You can also review their work, too. So once I get the test back, I reviewed it, and the book said this, and I said that. We can see what's wrong. And then hopefully before the finals and beyond the midterm, before the finals, things look okay because we've, took, we've taken the time out of our day to structure the material and try to present it in a decent, logical well, less verbose way. Keep in mind that if the material that we wrote was written a certain way and we took the time out to write it, it would be a bad idea when you go to the board and you have not practiced the material to turn something in. Uh, we would learn, play, and discover computer science the wrong way if we wrote things in a bad way. Because when you go to the board, make sure you say, Delete, not erase. Because we are, we have mock interviews, and there are other systems in place which we can use during the year to talk about um, our education this year. So, if we use our skill training techniques, we have supplies. We, we go over time management, and then we will talk about um, it's just important as a time management skills. It is. A good idea to have a foothold on taking notes. Now, notes are not useful for all students, and notes are not great for different types of students, but taking notes and, well, 
segregating information is important when it's time to work because sometimes during the year they may introduce several definitions for the same topic. If we say that an algorithm or we say that artificial intelligence is or if I say that machine learning is the idea that that's at the beginning of the semester. He may expand or expand on the um, term later in the semester or she or whoever your professor may be or your instructor or your TA or your GA or whoever uses this material you may need to sit down and write material okay you can use certain parts of the paper we can think about we can have information numbering by the margin we can put a time and date in certain corners of the paper and think about it this way suppose you were the TA you were the teaching assistant and your goal was to convey the material as the instructor. So on the first of this given arbitrary month, October, professor, insert name here, went over this topic. So we have a date, a subject, a topic, and we have material presented that day. So we may need to take extra space in our study notebook. We can give each one of these notebooks names. Uh, suppose you had a notebook for artificial intelligence, one for algorithms, one for machine learning, one from 10 years ago. You may need to upgrade that notebook. So keep in mind, you may have 55 or 60, 70 notebooks which you can scan into your computer and save for later later years or suppose you had notes you were using to make books or, or to give to your patent attorney uh, later but keep in mind if you were the instructor or you were the TA or someone you had to convey your information to someone else later and you're presenting information to someone through a uniform medium your handwriting you need things to look right taking notes there are different structurings beyond the MLA format, which can be looked for online for notes, different breakdowns for the paper. Or if it was, keep in mind, this is computer science education, this is for our own personal use, you may have your own system in place. But keep in mind that once you develop a system, it's important to stay within that system and to stay focused and uniform because my notebook may look different than your notebook my handwriting looks different than your handwriting and even if you wrote the material a million times you wrote it wrong a million times it's bad it's bad it's bad for you it's bad for your grade it's bad for the work so having notes that look presentable which have page numbers putting in page numbers on your work is important too you can say that on page 246 in this book is this subject and we have we've cited the source we've cited the author we have a name a date a page we have the suppose your objective was to make money online we had a source to suppose your source was an online source suppose it was a website that sells products and we could have we can indent and have where they we can have print on demand here. We could have uh, spreadsheets or we could have merchandise there. And then another place for making money online, we could have suppose it was photos. And photos were an area. We could underline the subject. Suppose that we're photos and we're selling photos online and we're selling used stuff here or we could have some online sponsorship from there. We could asterisk each one of these activities during the year and have a, a bullet point for easy review. So we know what day it was on. We know what book it's from. In turn, we would know what point we were going into. 
And so we can also have some space between those areas. So we need to put space in for, suppose we were sitting in class or we were here listening to a lecture and we did not know what to do. We could have a, we can make a space, a block between the paragraph and the next paragraph. And so we, uh, to input some information, we, we, it was fuzzy during the class. It was a Thursday morning and professor, whoever, was more concerned about his divorce than the work being presented on the paper. We could have some time to fill it in from the book or from another student or have some information that we need to practice later. Um, this may not work for a math course. We may need just to insert an additional sheet of paper in there or take the whole piece of paper out and write it again. Having ring binders with dividers is important in this case because we can take out, we can have a subject, we can take out information. Having the solid um, journal style notebook may not work if it was um, a class where you were just learning programming functions. Having the solid notebook which cannot have pages torn out may be important for that. And for other courses like mathematics courses where proofs take up six pages in some instances, believe me, you may need some type of notebook which represents the general system. Suppose you, you suppose if, even if you were teaching computer science to kindergartners, uh, we're talking about linked lists and hashed maps and using vectors, this is easy with the right type of information being conveyed. So suppose it was a spot for free information online, free, suppose if you sign up for this service, the, having that type of useless information may not be important in your notebook. Like if it was an instance where we talked about some kind of social event, you may not want to include that in your notebook because that will not help you on the exam. Um, excluding ideas, thoughts, unless it's a definition or a theorem or some type of um, rudimentary important activity like um, a way to set up a library for completing something, then it'll be important in your notebook. Your notebook should have a page number. Numbering each page consecutively is important too because suppose that you pull out a piece of paper or the paper gets wet because you went to sleep on it or your coffee wasted on it or you ate cereal or there was ice cream that was great or you uh, or you left um, granola bars and the crumbs and turning in dirty work is bad. It's bad for business. Bad for business. So keep in mind that having things numbered consecutively is useful when you show up. You have more material to offer your teammates. You have a legible notebook. You have notes. A new methodology for education. You have like a superhero, a utility belt of skills and systems and tools in place already, which is new to their system. They may not be organized. You may not be organized. But being organized often is a good step on the pathway to creating better grades. You may be a C student. You may be a B student. But having A structuring is a good way to increase your progress and on the calendar from the Dark Cybernetics worksheet, we might want to use the calendar to report progress during your academic year. If we have more progress with a structured system, it might be advantageous to have a structured system year round for all courses. We can have different sections. The top section could be used for the day of the week or whichever. We can devise our own calendar of academic assignments. Once you have tools, talents, and techniques, we can showcase them with giving ourselves a progress report because no one's more concerned about your academic performance than you during the year anyway. Remember to stay focused and stay calm during the academic year because it is easier to be frustrated than focused. And for more information, please visit our website at Dark Cybernetics.